So in this video, we're gonna talk about building cabinets, specifically these kitchen cabinets. And we're gonna design it in two different ways. First is going to be old school with pen and paper. So we're gonna have some quick scratch designs like this. And the other process is going to be using our software easel cabinet maker. And I wanna show you the positives of using software like easel cabinet maker, whether you have a CNC like this XCar Pro that is beside me, or if you're using more traditional tools like a table saw or a bandsaw. So regardless of the physical tools you actually have inside of your shop, we're gonna compare the design process process so everything that happens before you step into your shop. All right, let's jump into it. So one of the first problems you probably run into if you're using pencil and paper doesn't have to do with the design itself, but more of like how you're keeping track of all your clients, all of your designs, all of your organization. If you're like me, a lot of times that might just be like scratches on sheets of paper or like scrap wood where you're trying to take notes as you're on calls with clients. But as your business is getting bigger and bigger, it's probably getting harder and harder to keep track of all of those things if you're just doing it by pencil and paper. And there's a feature inside of Easel Cabinet Maker that makes that a lot easier for you. We have this whole area that we call jobs. And my job's pulled up right now. This is the actual demo kitchen build that uh, we have been working on. And if I jump into that, you have a lot of information about the job itself. Um, you can make edits to the status. Is this active? Is it done? Uh, the target date, I don't have one on here, what the address is, but you can also associate projects to it. So you can have multiple projects attached to the same job. So maybe it's different versions of the same kitchen design. Maybe you're doing multiple things within the actual job site, uh, but typically we have them tied to an address. And then here at the bottom, you can just have notes. So you can have actual text notes, which I've added down here below. You can do photos as well as quick checklists about things that you might need to do. What's great about this screen, especially is you can also pull it up on mobile. And so you can see that Smith Kitchen that we just added is right there. And then I can add in project, and then you're gonna have that entire interface that we just saw. But if you wanted to add photos, this is going to be a lot easier. So let's just say I just wanna take a picture of the CNC. Hit save. So now that's just been added like everything else. But you can also jump into the project itself if you wanna see some more specifics. So let's get into designing a cabinet. If you're using pencil and paper, you're probably gonna do it a lot better than what I'm showing right now. But at the end, you're gonna have some type of paper of dimensions and views of your cabinet so you can take it into the shop and actually cut it out. Now this still works great and you'll have a nice finished product. But one issue you definitely might run into is what happens if you need to make edits to your design. So if you are having those conversations with a client and you find out they actually wanna have all doors for our base cabinets and no drawers, you're gonna to have to update your design as a result. And then especially if you're having to make like small tweaks, maybe you find out the dimension is like a half an inch or a quarter inch off, that's going to affect everything else in your design. So you're gonna to have to kind of redo all of your math and it's super easy to make mistakes. At least I definitely make a ton and I always wind up having to redo some of my stuff, which leads to having a lot of wasted material. Now with Easel Cabinet Maker, that really shines because everything is connected together. And I'm gonna jump into this cabinet right here. I'm just gonna double click it. And let's say I wanna make it wider. Uh, to do that, I'm just gonna double click 18 and I'm gonna make it 24. And when I do that, you can see that it extends. If I click my wireframe, you can see all of that is adjusting inside and we'll do a more extreme example. So I'm jumping into 18. Let's say we want to go up to like 28. Everything inside adjusts. So everything is connected together. You only have to change one dimension and everything else scales as a result. Now this is especially true if you make it to a cabinet that is inside of a run, like in the middle. Let's say we want to extend it by a couple inches. If you're doing it by hand, you'd kind of have to adjust all the other cabinets as a result, but everything auto adjusts inside of Cabinet Maker. I'm going to select this base cabinet right here, the drawer, the door, just this to 24 so it gets wider, jump back out to all cabinets, and you can see everything has pushed over. It's actually now further over than my upper cabinets, but you could adjust those as well. Okay, so we talked about if you wanted to make like small tweaks, but what if you wanna have like entire variations of a kitchen? You're working with a client and they wanna have like five different versions of what kitchens could look like. If you're doing it by hand, that's gonna be pretty hard. More than likely, you're probably showing them past kitchens that you've done, but they're not actually seeing what that kitchen's going to look like for their environment. But inside of Easel Cabinet Maker, it's pretty easy to make variations of cabinets. So let's say I wanted to actually have four drawers down here on the right. Over here, uh, I have where my cabinets are and what wall they are on. Uh, if I highlight over, I'm gonna select this guy right here. And once I do that, I can define certain properties about this base cabinet. 
I'm going to switch over the count of drawers. I'm gonna pump it up to four, and then I'm gonna jump back out to all cabinets. And uh, just like that, now I have a base cabinet with four drawers. If I jump back into that, if I hit the wireframe, you can see that there are four drawers completely inside. So it added that additional drawer and face frame and all that will be reflected later in the cut list. But we could also do bigger configuration changes. So let's say we just wanna flip the order of these cabinets. So maybe I want my four drawer cabinet and my two door cabinet to switch. Over here on the base cabinet, you can actually select and drag, pull this one down and they, and if you just wanted to add additional cabinets, that's also super easy. You can either hit this plus button. I'm gonna do a door one. Again, it's gonna add it to the end. So really easy to make overall configuration changes to your kitchen design. So one of the next issues you may run into kind of has to do with making all of those changes again, but this time is having something you can present to your clients. And this is especially true if you're not just dealing directly with contractors, but like your end homeowners, it's going to be a lot easier if they can visually see what this is going to look like. So again, if you're doing it by hand, you'll have to make all of those renderings by hand. But inside of Visual Cabinet Maker, that's a lot easier. So let's say we want to make a visual change. So I want to change this from blue cabinets to green. Uh, I can do that over here on finishes. I'm going to select green and green. And we have some green cabinets. Uh, but from here, I want to share this with a client. So I could take a screenshot. There's a little icon down here that will let you do that. But a more interactive way is to do basically a presentation view of Easel Cabinet Maker. So I'm going to come up here to share. I'm gonna share this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this link so this is what your client would see. And here is their green cabinet. And I've already made a comment, uh, pretending like I was the client, but let's say we wanna do that again. Uh, let's make it blue again. So what's great about that is when you jump back into Easel Cabinet Maker, you can hit this comment icon and you can see all of the comments as well as the history and the time and who said it. So you can make those adjustments as needed. All right, so we've got our job going. We've made all of our changes. We have a sign off from our client on the final design. More than likely the next step or something that's kind of been happening along this entire process is having you figure out an estimate on how much this is actually going to cost. So you have an idea of the profit you're gonna make on your job. And again, if you're doing this by hand, this is just something you're going to have to calculate as you go. Even if you're using a computer, so if you're using something like Excel, you're still going to have to update the numbers, the amount of material you're going to have to buy, the prices of that material, the labor, the profit, all that kind of stuff. And if you do make any adjustments, you're going to have to update that as you go. For me, this is actually one area of Easel Cabinet Maker that has been the most beneficial. And in fact, it's got its own tab inside of the software. I'm going to come over to Estimate. And when I do that, you can see that we are getting our materials, our hardware, other hardware, other costs, all of that, as well as profits and margins and prices, uh, will give us a total estimated profit and a total estimated price. Now, I've actually already gone in and put in my unit costs as well as my markups, but so I could like adjust this to say 60 and 90 and when i do that everything updates so these numbers are all updating as i go but the quantity though is actually being pulled from the design itself so it's also making cut lists on the back side and it knows you're going to need to have two sheets of half inch birch plywood that is four by eight and then you're going to need seven sheets of three quarter inch plywood so that is super handy you're not having to figure that out and if i actually go back out to my design uh, i'm going to add in a few more cabinets so uh, I'm just going to duplicate. There's a little icon right here. I'm going to add in several more. So I've added a lot more cabinets. If you're doing it by hand, you'd have to go back in and calculate everything, but all of that live updates. So now you can see we've gone from two to four on the half inch and then seven to 11 on the three quarter inch. And you're able to see your total price, the amount of material you need to order and the estimated profit as a result. Now we did kind of gloss over a step as we were going through the estimate process because to figure out the quantity of sheets of plywood that you have to buy, uh, you have to know how many sheets of plywood you have to buy, AKA you need to figure 
figure out whatever your cut list is gonna be depending on your kitchen design. Again, if you're doing it by hand, you're gonna have to place all of those yourself. And to be able to get all of those nested, to have the least amount of material waste, that can be pretty difficult to do that manually. And this is an area that Easel Cabinet Maker definitely shines. All right, so getting into cut lists, we can actually come over to the manufacturer. Now I've actually already created a few already, but you can do CNC as well as table saw cut list. Uh, I'm just gonna create a new one so you can see how it works. You can say what method you wanna be using. Depending on what method you're using, then you can define different parameters. So like the space between parts, the margin around the work pieces on the CNC, as well as your stock sizes. And the table saw is more or less the same thing, except you're gonna be putting in your kerf size. Then if I jump into a table saw cut list, actually click on one of these sheets, you can see you're getting a label of all of the different panels, as well as the actual cuts and the dimensions that you're gonna to need to make on your table saw. And if everything looks good, all you have to do is hit this little print icon, save it to a PDF or print it directly to your printer. And this is literally what I took into my workshop and then I cut out this entire cabinet on the table saw just going straight from this cut list. Now the CNC workflow is pretty much the same except for one key factor. So jumping into the CNC cut list, if I click it, Again, you're gonna get a look of all of your different panels, the dimensions, the labels of what they are. Um, but instead of the cut list, you're just getting the dimensions of the panels. And that is because you can actually cut these out directly from Easel Cabinet Maker. I can actually switch over to this 3D view. And if you've used Easel in the past, this probably looks pretty familiar, um, but you're seeing all of these lines of the actual cut and I can get a preview of the cut. So I'm gonna speed it up. You can see it going across. And then one thing it's also showing is you're getting your holes for your hinges, as well as the drill holes for the screws to put everything in there. So that's something that's already got calculated, but I'm gonna switch back over to 2D. Now I'm not connected to the XCarve Pro right now, but if I was, I could hit that carve button and go directly to the machine and start cutting everything out. But you can set up your cut settings right here. It's gonna start with our suggested feed rates, but you can definitely ramp that up as needed. So then all you have to do is you just go one by one through all of your panels on your CNC and you're good to go. So the ability to save time might be the biggest benefit from using software like Easel Cabinet Maker versus going by paper. Again, we can go from this high level view of all of the jobs that your shop is working on. I just have two in here because these are just demos, but I can click into my job I can click into the individual project. Like again, I can have multiple projects. From here, I can make adjustments and changes as needed. Go all the way to the manufacturer tab, to the CNC cut list, and then to the actual sheet of plywood where I can send it directly to the machine. So that ability to go from a really high level view of what your shop is working on, all the way down to the nuts and bolts that you need for your actual machine to run can happen all in one place. And in Inventables, we really believe it's that tight integration between software and machine that's gonna help you save money as well as build your business. Now, if you do wanna check out Easel Cabinet Maker and dive into it and see if it would work for you, you can head over to our website and jump into it. Again. You don't have to have a CNC to do it. It totally works with a table saw as well. All right, we're looking forward to seeing the projects that you make and the businesses that you build, and I'll see you in the next video.